So in this video, I'm going to discuss a little niche area that has concerned some people that the Dell XPS 159560 has a Thunderbolt implementation that might not let them use the full Thunderbolt uh, 40 gigabits per second throughput uh, that's available. So I want to say right off the bat that I discovered for myself that's not the case. And I believe for most other users it's also not the case, but I can't say it's an assumption on my part to say that. But I wanted to share this little nuanced area and what the dilemma was there or is there depending on who you are as a user. I figured it was something that maybe some of you out there might like to know about, maybe you were concerned about it, and maybe the experience that I had and looking into this might help. Okay, the issue surrounds this concept of an external GPU. If you don't already know, there are gamers who like to buy desktop graphics cards and they insert them into these enclosures that have like a plug that are, make them power, you know, they're powered. And then they have like um, a Thunderbolt 3 cable that connects into a laptop. And then they play games on a regular old laptop with these high-end desktop graphics cards. And this is referred to as external GPU or eGPU, that's lowercase e, capital G, P, U. So I thought this is really a fascinating use of Thunderbolt 3. It's not one that I'm like directly interested in going to do, but I thought it was really interesting because Thunderbolt 3, after all, is sort of, well, not sort of, it actually is an extension via cable of the laptop's bus, and it's pluggable too. That's pretty phenomenal when you consider where we've come from. The Thunderbolt controller in the laptop has this uh, aspect that needs to be um, designed into the system by the vendor. In this case, it would be Dell. And that has to do with how many PCI Express lanes you're going to connect to the Thunderbolt controller. Now, this can get to be a complex subject, so I'm gonna keep it really simple. So think of a PCI Express lane as a set of wires that allows a bi-directional communication between two entities in a PCI Express system. So if there's a device there, and I'm a controller or whatnot, and we're communicating, there's gonna be a certain number of lanes that exist between us that give us the communication communication uh, channels, if you will, or routes to allow us to communicate uh, data back and forth. Now each lane, roughly speaking, in PCI Express 3.0 and the Dell XPS 159560 allows for, roughly speaking, about 8 gigabits a second uh, transfer back and forth, bi-directional. And that amounts to about a gigabyte per uh, second. Now it's a little bit less than a gigabyte, but I'm gonna round up because it just makes things simple. And it's close enough that that's good enough for this discussion because I'm really just trying to outline the, the problem that existed and just the generalities of uh, bandwidth and uh, doubling that or having it is really what I'm going after explaining here. So if you have one PCI Express lane between two entities, they can communicate roughly at about eight gigabits per second. If you have two lanes, that doubles, so it's about 16 gigabits per second. If you have four lanes, that doubles, and it becomes about 32 gigabits per second. And guess what? That's getting pretty close to the maximum that is supported by Thunderbolt 3. Now, let's say I gave you a choice and said you were gonna need to communicate over Thunderbolt 3, and I could give you one lane, two lanes, or four lanes what would you pick? Well, you would probably pick four lanes because that's gonna give you the biggest you know, throughput to maximize using the bandwidth that Thunderbolt 3 gives you. However, um, not all laptops will implement four lanes like that. Some may implement half of that and only two lanes. And when they do that, yes, technically speaking, it is limiting the throughput when you're communicating via PCI Express from the laptop through the Thunderbolt 3 controller out to the Thunderbolt 3 wire. Yes, you are limiting the bandwidth there, but it's not necessarily a deal breaker. Now here's the thing, if you're doing external GPU, 
you really need those four lanes because that's gonna give you the throughput to make it an effective setup and scenario. If you only have two lanes of PCI Express 3.0 that are, uh, you know, that's gonna end up being your bottleneck, not the 40 gigabits per second going out to the external uh, graphics card. It's really gonna be the limitation in how you wire up only two lanes to the internal laptop Thunderbolt 3 um, controller. That's the part that comes from Intel to provide the Thunderbolt magic. So the Dell XPS 15 9560 has two PCI Express lanes connected to its internal Thunderbolt controller. And that means anything that wants to communicate via PCI Express over Thunderbolt 3 is going to be limited in this laptop to that ceiling of 16 gigabits per second or approximately two gigabytes per second. Once again, a little bit less, about 1.9 gigabytes per second, something like that. And if you connect that or relate that to the Thunderbolt uh, limitation of 40 gigabits per second, you can see that's um, less than actually half of the Thunderbolt you know, maximum. So it's actually quite low in a relative sense. So when I first encountered this, I was taken aback a little bit because I know one 4K display you know, can take up to a, what, about 17 gigabits per second for 4K at 60 hertz, and if you add two, so I was like, well, maybe I can't even use one 4K display? Didn't sound quite right. I'm like, there's gotta be something. So when I started thinking about this, I was like, something doesn't seem right, because I know DisplayPort is handled by Thunderbolt, and I've seen some architecture diagrams that show an arrow going right to the Thunderbolt controller. So what's happening here is that the Dell XPS 15 9560 is sending DisplayPort traffic to the Thunderbolt controller in the laptop over DisplayPort lanes, which are separate from the two PCI Express lanes for PCI traffic. Keep in mind that those DisplayPort lanes, of which there's eight that come into the Thunderbolt controller, that's two DisplayPorts simultaneously um, over Thunderbolt with direct lanes coming from the GPU to the Thunderbolt controller, and each one allows up to 5.4 gigabits per second data transfer, and that is about 21.6 gigabits per second if you consider them as a whole, as a bonded whole. And um, you have to take off some for overhead, but you're still doing really well there. I think the, the maximum is around 17 gigabits per second, which is just fine for uh, 4K display uh, port I.O. Those allow you to make use of a lot of that Thunderbolt bandwidth for display port I.O., especially if you're doing 4K. So you might say, okay, well that's really great and everything, but aren't you concerned about the limitation in bandwidth due to only having two PCI Express lanes? And right now my answer is generally no, because the only things that I can see myself doing over those two lanes are well under the bandwidth that's supported by those two lanes. Pretty much those other lanes are gonna be used for USB 3.0 or maybe ethernet. Maybe I would connect a Thunderbolt hard drive or daisy chain something to this, but you know, if I do, I just can't see myself investing in some hard drive that's actually going to hit that maximum uh, throughput of two gigabytes per second. To put this into perspective, those two PCI lanes let you transfer roughly about two uh, gigabytes per second, a little bit less actually, as I had mentioned. And keep in mind that that two gigabytes per second is roughly about 16 gigabits per second. Consider USB 3.0, which supports five gigabits per second, or about 640 megabytes per second. And I'm not even hitting that maximum with my USB 3.0 uh, hard drives. And then there's USB 3.1, which supports 10 gigabits per second, or about 1250 megabytes per second. Both of those technologies are more than enough to support my needs now and probably into the near future. And they're both well under the maximum potential throughput with those two pieces. PCI Express lanes. So I'm actually not really worried that those two PCI Express lanes are there instead of four. I'm just not seeing anything get in my way because of that. Now, if I wanted to do external GPU, 
I wouldn't be able to do it with my laptop. So when reflecting on all this, I really realized actually the biggest potential for me to increase my bandwidth requirements over Thunderbolt in the near future would be probably not hard drive technology or SSDs, but actually uh, I think it would much more be much more likely to come from adding 4K displays. Those things require a lot of bandwidth, and keep in mind on the Dell XPS 159560, those display port lanes go right from the GPU to the Thunderbolt controller. They don't go over that PCI Express connection. So the way everything is really wired up, it allows me to make use of this Thunderbolt bandwidth with that more likely scenario because they give you those separate lanes of DisplayPort traffic uh, going right to the Thunderbolt controller and therefore there's no limitation there uh, that's preventing me from using this bandwidth. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share in this particular video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to comment, please do comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, uh, if you want to subscribe, that'd be wonderful too. If you like the video, please do like it. That's wonderful. And then um, also thanks for all the folks who've participated so far. I know this is a new channel and I'm just getting started. But, um, you know, just those little kind of things here and there is really nice. So thank you guys very much. And that's about it. Have a wonderful week or day or whatever you happen to be doing. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.